What's up guys, welcome back to Dan's How To Videos. Today we are gonna be updating our Apple TV. Now if you've missed any of the previous Apple TV How To Videos, the link is in the description down below, so definitely check those out. For this video, you're gonna need your Apple TV remote, you're gonna need your Apple TV obviously, and you're gonna need it hooked up to the internet, either by the ethernet cable or Wi-Fi. Once you've done all that, we can get started. Once your Apple TV is on, you want to go to the settings application. You then want to click on general and then scroll down to where it says update software. Click on that. You'll have two settings here, one being download and install and the other one being update later. You're going to click on download and install to install the new software. Now if you're already up to date with your software, you're not going to have this option. It's just going to tell you that your software is up to date. You can see on the left side it says I have about 7 minutes remaining. This could take up to 10 minutes or longer depending on your internet connection. So just keep that in mind. Now if for some reason you want to cancel the update, all you need to do is go to update software and press the middle button on your Apple TV remote. You'll have a setting here to cancel the update. And if you don't want to cancel it, you can just go back to continue and let it continue the update. Alright, when it's done, it's going to prepare the update. And you got two steps here. So again, do not unplug your Apple TV while it's updating. Let it do its thing and be patient. Again, two steps and you'll be pretty much done. All right, so now it's applying step two. So again, don't unplug your Apple TV and you should be good to go when it's finished. All right, so the Apple TV has restarted itself. Now during the process of installation, it did restart a bunch of times throughout the process. So don't worry if it does that on your end, it's all normal. As long as you don't unplug your Apple TV, you're good to go. Once it's done, you can go into your settings and make sure that the update actually went through. Go to your general tab here, go down to update software and click the middle button and see, and it says your Apple TV is up to date. So you know everything went okay and click okay and go back to using your Apple TV as you would normally. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, remember to hit the like button down below or on the screen depending on where you're watching this. Also subscribe up top and if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box down below as well. I'll see you guys in the next video.